James from Ministry of Making here, hijacking high tea toys. Hi, I'm here too. <laughs> yeah, this is my channel now. <laughs> Guess where we're going? The Lego store. The Lego store. <laughs> Sing that again? <laughs> you heard. <laughs> we are currently travelling to the Lego store. It's going to be a whim, we're just going to go. Whatever the like, whatever the fancy strikes, you just have to go and get it. I'm, I'm planning on some minifigures. Maybe Daisy Duck, maybe a pub cup, but you know, we all know it's a dangerous place, so anything can happen. Yeah. Anything can happen. Oh no, there's a tractor! Oh. We have arrived! That light's gonna go off in a minute, so then like the spotlight will disappear. That was, it was okay, I managed to overtake the tractor. Then we saw really terrible traffic on the other side of the motorway and we're like, we're definitely not coming back that way because that would take us 300 years. So it's fine, we're here now. That's a problem yeah. for like future Johanna. Like at yep. the moment, Lego is our mission. Yep. <laughs> we're gonna go okay. Lego shopping. <laughs> Come to a viewing point after a nice shopping day. Traffic was horrendous. Um, I think it's because like Friday change every day in cottages and everything, but like the motorways were like clogged, motorways are shut, traffic everywhere. So it's been quite a interesting trip to Bristol. We weren't actually there very long, but we had a very nice lunch, I have to say. I think I have some ambient footage of that because I'm, I'm still struggling with vlogging in public. The only reason I am daring to talk to the camera right now is because there's not really anybody here. So yeah, we've just come to a little viewing point because it's quite nice and warm today and it's so sunny. So we thought we may as well make the most of the nature around us. There'll be a haul right in a moment. Don't you worry, that is coming. countryside James. Bloody gorgeous. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we need to know. We're back! Damage has been done! Lego has been patched. I think we should get some sort of medal for how restrained and good we were in that store. That's not what happened. I was like, buy it, buy it, James, buy it, buy it. Jo Johanna was actually, I love Johanna, awful to shop with in a Lego store. <laughs> because everything I was like, oh, I really want that. I buy really it. want that. Buy it. Just go and buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it now. <laughs> I was going, shut up! <laughs> but to be fair, the last time we did it, we had 45 minutes to rush in and out. Little, little, little bag for you. I'll start with the smallest thing I got, which you probably can't see on the camera, but I got Elmo! So when they announced that they were releasing like Lego Sesame Street keychains, I had literally just bought like the brick keychain that I have, but um, I saw them last time in the shop and I thought they were really cute and I looked at them again today. I was like, I think he's really adorable. I was very torn between Cookie Monster and Elmo because like Cookie Monster, you know, I am a Cookie Monster, so I should probably get that. But Elmo is just cute. Can you remember when we both nearly bought Blacksmith? 
today. I, I can distinctly <laughs> remember that today. It was close. <laughs> My purchase. Basically, I have a nice big bag. Well, it's not the biggest bag I've ever taken home. So I'll start with a thing that isn't for me, <laughs> um, which is a birthday present for somebody, which is the Marvel Infinity Gauntlet. Um, which looks so shiny. It's gorgeous, actually. Yeah. So my second and last purchase of the day, and I will come to why I have been this restrained in a moment. Don't worry. There is a reason. There's definitely a reason. <laughs> Um, I got Daisy Duck. Am I hold yeah, I'm holding her right. So I have Pluto and Goofy and I've got Donald Duck. I don't have Mickey and Minnie because they were out before I got it back in San Diego. But you know, I've got to add Daisy Duck to the collection. I'm probably likely to get the um, like Scrooge McDuck and like the three nephews at some point as well. But this is a tenner, so like it's it was a nice little purchase. Da, da, da. While I've been um, in this area for the last couple of days, I've kind of been on this mission to try and get as many Avengers minifigures. And I managed to get um, Captain America yesterday. That was my little, little purchase and my little build for the evening. We all started your Marvel collection. Because you've just gone back into Marvel, are you? So like, you're like, now, ooh, I have to get these things. So we just really quickly wanted to insert this little bit as well. Because we also got some things from Empty Games. Now, I didn't go to Empty Games. No. But James was saying Western before he came to me. And I said he had to go to the store. Because you would have seen it on like my older vlogs. I love that place. It's very hit and miss. But like, you can get some lovely bargains there. So, um, I think it was an experience. It was. I spent an hour in there. <laughs> Had to pop outside for five minutes and gather my breath after <laughs> discovering another cabinet full of minifigures. There was one thing that I was really tempted by and it was a bag and it was £30 and it was full of vintage Harry Potter uh, minifigures. Yeah. So there was the old Dumbledore, the old Harry, the Ron with the little hat hair. So I didn't get it but I was very tempted. Very tempted to get that. But what I did get... Because I started collecting around the end of 2018, I kind of missed one of the smaller sets, which was Aragog's Lair. So I managed to just get Aragog, which I've wanted for ages. And James is also super, super lovely because he basically took photos of every single thing that was there so I could shop virtually. <laughs> and he picked yeah. me up two little um, figures. Um, I actually realised after like he was already on his way here that I got the wrong one. I should have gotten the blue brick girl, not this one. I already have him, but he's cute and I can maybe put him outside of my Lego store more because like yeah, a mascot, so idea. it's fine. He'll come to good use. But I also got the breakdancer for the series 20. Really like these two, so I'm super super grateful for that. And I kind of, before James was coming, I was kind of collecting some little minifigure bits because we kind of designed his minifigure. Sadly he has changed his hair like literally yeah. like in the last week or so. So his hair is not quite accurate anymore. But I've made him a minifigure that I've shown on like Instagram before. But I bought one for him as well so you can take one home. And now you have a minifigure of you. So now for the reason that I was this restrained. Du, because du, du. to be honest, this is really good. I've never been to Lego store and spend less money. I am going on a road trip tomorrow to look at a collection of retired modulars <laughs> and they are really beautiful looking modulars slightly mocked as well um, i may be putting my bonus to good use basically is what i'm saying here yep. it's gonna it's gonna work very hard for itself yep <laughs> so i've been talking to this chap for a little while so i'm definitely doing a vlog tomorrow because i'm so very excited about this like if you remember you probably know how like obsessed i have been because I kind of posted a listing to Discord when I found it and I was just kind of like debating with people like in the in the chat about like which ones I should get. So there's a few I've got my eyes on. It's it's very tempting and I'm so excited to go tomorrow. There's so. one that even while we've been talking for the last couple of months, we've kept mentioning <laughs> and talking about. Yeah. And when I saw you yesterday and you were like, so this um, be it might be there. Super exciting. Yes. So that's coming tomorrow. I don't know yeah. when I'm releasing the vlog. I'm going there tomorrow, so we'll have to see what happens. Um, but that's definitely coming as a vlog. So yeah. there, there we go. You can look forward to that. So subscribe and like and do all of that jazz if you want to see what I'm, what 14 I'm spending tomorrow. Yeah. So I think what we'll now go and do is build some Lego. So I'll see you all very soon in my exciting spending a bloody fortune on things. Yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> wait and see what she gets. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you all very soon, guys. Hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Bye, Bye how do? The camera's not moving this time. <laughs> <laughs> Just us. We should do a wave. Oh, I did that one. <laughs>